Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my first recipe video. I'm showing you the carrot cake recipe that I use all the time and I really hope you enjoy it. I decided to make a layered cake and I'm using some 8 inch round pans that are non-stick. I'm going to also add some butter and I'm just using some parchment paper to spread the butter around. This will also make sure the cake doesn't stick. And in addition, I'm adding some flour and all I'm going to do is move the flour around so it covers the entire pan and this just also makes sure that the cake itself doesn't stick um, after it cools. So just make sure that you cover um, where you placed all the butter and the excess gets tossed in the trash. So with this carrot cake, I like to have a variety of textures with my shredded carrots. So I have two cups of coarse shredded and two cups of finely um, grated carrots for the texture for this cake. <music> making sure that the batter is an even layer and I'm tapping it ever so gently on my counter and what this does is it um, releases these air bubbles from the batter so that the cake cooks nice and evenly so you'll see the um, bubbles here popping and that's it and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the oven
So my cakes have came out the oven and I'm just checking with a toothpick. I stick the toothpick right in the center of the cake and if it comes out clean then I know my cakes are cooked all the way through and I will let them cool before I remove them from the pans. So I love adding fresh carrots to my carrot cake. I just love the texture and the additional kind of carroty flavor it gives. So I'm adding some fresh carrots into the center of my layer cake along with some walnuts for some extra crunch texture and just a nice um, nut flavor within the cake. But at this point it is however you choose to flavor and decorate your cakes. So have fun do what tastes great to you I'm adding the top layer upside down so that I can have a smooth icing um, layer um, when I am decorating and I'm going to add the cream cheese spread it all around the cake the top the sides and I'm gonna let this cool for about 30 minutes before I decorate the remainder of the cake this just helps the icing stiffen a little bit better And so here is my carrot cake recipe and I really hope you give it a try. Let me know if you like it. And guys, this cake is so soft, it melts in the mouth. That cream cheese is just perfect with this cake recipe and the cake itself is so moist and honestly, I could eat all of this in one go. And I really enjoyed making this video. So let me know down in the comment box below what else you'd like to see as far as a recipe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.